Hey guys, Professor Bill, comic book here. I have returned. Hello, my beautiful people. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to Comic Book University. Louis from the Geek Fortress here to bring you Death or Glory number two. I'm gonna get right to this one, guys. I have read a lot of messed up, weird, slash, effed up comic books in my life, but there was a couple of things in this one that just left me. So we pick up right where we live off, kinda. Remember all those people in that back of that truck? So our girl Glory ends up getting everybody in there a ticket so they can escape um, their fate that I'm about to reveal to you. So as we go on, we find out that these people were actually going to this really creepy, weird, slash, cannibalistic jackass who... I, I told you this was fucked up, but I just, just need a minute. He cuts them up, takes out their parts, and then sells his, their, excuse me, sells their organs. So it's an organ trafficking operation right here. As we go through the comic book, we actually see in a panel this guy getting cut off with a saw. Like one of those that you used to cut wood and... He takes out the guy's kidney and... And then when I thought that was the most effed up thing that I had seen in that comic book, remember those two cops from the first issue that, um, yeah, they were like transporting the money and stuff? Well, you see that they're kind of doing this thing where the one gets tied up over the floor, and he's not even doing uh, over the floor, yeah, the floor, over the ceiling. And then when he gets tied up, the other guy puts his pants down and he sort of shoves a jalapeno pepper or ghost pepper or something like that up his ass so yeah I thought I had seen fucked up and then I saw that and I was just like oh. so we go back to what looks like Mexico I think which is where all of these people are being transported from and I swear there's this guy with a luchador mask who turns out to be the guy who's behind it at least he's the guy who sends them out and then he's like you know what we're gonna do this ourselves blah 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 on the other side we see our girl glory and then there's this brazilian guy who stays behind he doesn't take the bus because he says that his family is still uh, has been taken by these people who do the um the organ um trafficking i guess that would be the best word they they sell organs in the black market so she's like how am i supposed to help you bro i was trying to get money for my family why am i supposed to help now your family and then he's like, well, you know, we can help each other. And then she has like a bullet uh, hole or like a, like a scratch from a bullet on her side. And then he heals her. And I see a love story coming up and out of this. Just you watch. So then the comic book, it's not messed up enough that we get to the end of it. And we see that not only are the parts for the people getting taken out for the black market, but also they are selling them as meat at a butcher shop. This was a very hard issue to read, not because it wasn't a page turner, but rather because it was a little disgusting. Yeah, I thought the Mr. Freeze guy with the, the spray that kills you automatically was bad enough, but this guy is like, is he just, this, they're selling human meat to people. Wow, that's just wrong. So that leads me to believe, what if the guy in the first issue who was asking for all those burgers, what if that burger meat was actually human meat and that's what he was trying to investigate or something like that? Yeah, I got conspiracy theories right here. Overall, guys, this comic book was great. It was a great read, a little weird, a little exotic, a little out there, but at the same time, I could not look away. So congratulations you get a B plus. What do you guys think about death or glory number dose? Let me know in the comment section below guys. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. I have been Jaboy Lewis. Don't forget to check me out at the Geek Fortress. Stay awesome guys and don't forget to geek on. In the words of Professor Bill, class dismissed. Bye.